I promise, I just don't know what's wrong with people. It's another day, so believe me, there's something new popping off at Spirit Airlines. You have passengers in line at a Spirit counter at the airport, and this disgusting flamingo was standing there looking like this. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. The word of the day is repudiate. Go ahead and type it in the comments. Again, that's repudiate. A video was posted online showing a woman standing in line waiting at the Spirit Airlines counter. I'm being told this was at the Fort Lauderdale International Airport. Shout out to Lauderdale, Hollywood, Broward County. Do any of my people down there know who this fool is? Is she from out of town or she's from Broward? I'm not sure where she's from, so I'm not going to just pin that on Broward. I'm going to need for Broward County to let me know. She had on a Magic City uniform that she altered herself. It was either an orange shirt without pants or she had on an orange dress that she intentionally hiked up, fully exposed in the lower part of her big old behind. The woman obviously trying to get attention and flash everybody around her as she appeared to be wearing nothing but the Magic City uniform and some dingy flip-flops. In a now viral video posted a couple of days ago, the lady is just standing there in line like nothing is going on while everyone else around her is also acting like nothing is going on. Well, everybody except for this one Bahamian lady that could not help herself. And side note, shout out to her. She was like, what is going on here? She couldn't believe what she was seeing and how everybody was quiet around her. So she whipped out her cell phone to make sure she caught this on video. Only in the okay, airport, okay, Spirit okay. Airlines, yeah. the half naked, mother what this is going on in 2023 lord give me strength i say no draws no draws y'all what what this is no draws i wonder if spirit gonna let this happen today spirit you gonna let this happen y'all need to bond some this ain't this ain't right she have on no draws i wish i could have catch the front lord no draws look at look at the woman look at the woman <laughs> like what the <laughs> the Bahamian lady was obviously ready to throw some holy water on this demon. Again, shout out to her for recording the video because these idiots online seem to be more upset with her for recording the video than this big old grown woman intentionally walking around showing her cheeks just to get reactions from people. Like this one here, talking about I'm more worried about the person recording this. Like who gave you the permission to record people without their consent? You're more concerned about the woman recording, getting permission to record this woman in her Magic City uniform? Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. Let's be honest, if you want to talk about consent, let's talk about how she didn't get any consent from these people to flash them. It's called indecent exposure and they are in public. So the woman recording, she can record in a public place. The problem is this woman being allowed to walk around like she's at KLD Magic City or the office somewhere while she's at an airport with children, elders, and mothers around. I mean, they are always taken up for this trash behavior. My thing is, how long did it take for security to come out here and get this woman? And did they address this situation at all? Because we all know if this had been a man walking around like this, there would have been 20 officers with him on the ground right away. And here's another moron coming for the woman recording. She said, why not tell her to fix herself instead of recording? Shaking my dang head. And y'all won't believe the woman who made this comment. She's got scriptures in her bio. And the scripture she highlighted is about prosperity and hope and using words to build people up and not bring them down. I.e. she's trying to tell people not to judge other people's poor behavior which is what these modern women fake Christians love to talk about. That's why they love these scamming prosperity pastors, but they can't stand the righteous ones that's preaching the truth. She forgot about this one, that women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel with modesty and self-control. I'm not sure if this woman is wearing a dress or a shirt without pants, but whatever it is, no one should be subjected to her big old black behind while trying to check their backs in and go run and get on a plane. You have families up there. This is absolutely disgusting. And most modern women are just like this commenter. Always with the religious talk about everything they do, the way they live their rebellious, out-of-order, self-destructive, disobedient lives, 
clearly shows nothing about them as godlike. You're obviously Eve's daughter and you're the devil because if you support and defend Jezebel like this, either you're just like her or you wanna be just like her. Here's another one coming for the Bahamian lady recording instead of this moron standing in line with her Magic City uniform on. This guy said, shaking my head, go talk to her rather than getting clicks or likes. Now, why would the Bahamian lady approach this woman silly enough to pull a stunt like this in the airport? The only people who should be talking to her are the officers while putting handcuffs on her. When I first saw this, I thought this was the same DMV lady, the one that went to Houston walking around the turkey leg hut in her socks and shoes, and she was also flashing her tuna fish salad at the Galleria in Houston. Remember that one? If you missed that video, I'll leave the link below. <laughs> you wanna see it good? <laughs> you wanna see it better than that? You wanna see it better? <laughs> But she flew all the way from the DMV to Houston to make a fool out of herself and doth so disrespect an establishment owned and operated by a black woman and her husband. I mean, they do have similarities, but this woman here had less cellulite. It's just not matching up. Also, if this was her, she would have posted this on Twitter and she didn't. So I'm gonna take a guess and say this wasn't her, which means there's another idiot Jezebel on the loose going around flashing people for fun without any consequences. It's really sickening. Personally, I cannot stand this. And instead of people being appalled by this behavior and repudiating it, they choose to argue with people who call this behavior out. Talking about the Bahamian lady recording should mind her business. Well, it became her business and everybody else's when this woman just did what she did in public. Minding her business would only work if the lady did this privately at her home or in a private place and then broadcast her business to the world by walking around like this in public, making it everybody else's business. This is just silly and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the lack of accountability. I'm sick of the sisterhood defending this behavior and the simps too. Anybody who thinks this is okay should be ashamed of themselves and was probably raised by a side chick or a 304. That's when they see trashy behavior like this. They defend it because there's something about it that reminds them of their 304 mama or maybe themselves. And this is why it's almost impossible to change women in America, especially the ones over 30 years old, for sure 35 plus. You cannot mold stale bread. I've been saying that for years. You can't change them because they don't want to change. They don't want to change their mindset. They want to do whatever they want to do. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. You also had some women defending this, saying it was probably tights that she had on. And I'll say this, what tights? You mean the kind we wore as kids? When we did ballet back in the day? The ones that you're supposed to wear under your dress? Or when your mama used to dress you up for church on Sunday, she put you on that dress and stockings underneath? And then when you got a little older, she made you put on a slip too? I know y'all ain't talk about no stockings. Yeah, you mean the undergarment like pantyhose? They're saying that's what this could be. And I'm trying to figure out when was it ever acceptable for your mama to walk out the house with only pantyhose? Or when did she ever walk out the house allowing you to just wear pantyhose? I'm telling you absolutely no home training. If this is the case, that will mean she's wearing an undergarment outside just bare. You can clearly see this woman's behind. Like, no, I don't want to hear it. Whether it's pantyhose, a dress, or whatever. This is indecent exposure and she's out of order. I'll leave the video below so you can check this out yourself. And that's why repudiate is the word of the day. They would rather associate than repudiate. Drop repudiate down below in the comments. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. What do you think about this flamingo walking around the airport like this and people blaming the woman recording it instead of addressing the real issue here? Special thank you to Mark and Robert P. I appreciate you Mark and Robert for your support as well as Judas Lion. And shout out to all of the ladies supporting the channel. Thank you to Irene, Tiffany, and Roxana. It's women like Irene, Tiffany, Tiffany B., Roxana, Nainiz, Kita, Amber, Trayshell, and Tanette, who support this channel, they appreciate the truth and they speak the truth themselves. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're gonna wanna subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.